Well, hello, this is another Game Dev Adventures video and today I'm going to cover something that perhaps I should have covered some time ago but since we were just uh, talking about the tower defense mechanics and most of the basics then we kind of left this on the side and it's something that most games have and, and it's a score system so it's going to be a simple addition to our game and I hope that well it gives you some ideas now this is the game that I, that, I, that we have been working with perhaps you're going to notice that from the latest video that I changed the uh, animations uh, before we had just like some triangles I changed them again uh, and use this uh, aliens that we have here that uh, are basically for free they, they were created by Kenny uh, you can find him in Twitter at Kenny Wings and I changed them not because they were better although I kinda like the style uh, but because I know that they are Creative Commons Zero so I can use them in different projects without any kind of attributions uh, the other animation it was really cool that uh, I it, it was taken from Rojo Hound's uh, example and I don't know if people can use those and I don't know if, if well where they came from so I just prefer to to use some that that I that I like the main problem with this one is that they are really just going for direction so uh, I had to modify like make some small modifications over here there's like cutting legs or something just to create a, a full animation and you're going to have something like this the little aliens move in both directions and you see that the they work kind of like a little funny and instead of the A directions that you had with with the previous animation you have this one so well I, I think it's a good compromise and perhaps if I have some time I can change it and if not well whenever I release this this uh, file you still have the A directions and you can just change the animation that you, I'm using there but that's not what I'm covering today. The thing that we said that we were going to cover is about the score. So to do that, obviously we will have to go here to the um, uh, well event sheet, and I'm going to add another variable that, of course, is going to be name score, and it's going to start at zero, which makes sense, right? So we have it here. Now, uh, I was using this text and, and I'm just going to change the name for a score label and I'm going to say a score zero at first. So now we have it visibly here. Um, and the entire point is like when to add to this score. So one of the things that you could do is just uh, well, there are many options, of course, it's your game and, and you can do whatever you want, but uh, I, I see two big options. The first one is when you destroy an enemy, and the second one uh, that could be used in combination with that one is when you hit an enemy with, with one of the bullets. So let's try to look for uh, destroy. So I, I don't think that's something that we have added so far. So, enemy destroy. So, um, okay, well, I'm destroying the enemy here, and it's here. So, we do have uh, an event. In this case, is number 13, where I'm saying that the health is zero, and then uh, you could decide how much you're going to add. So, since we have three kinds of, of enemies, of seekers, I could do, add different, different values. Um, I could do it with several events, but since I, I just want to do it differently, I'm just going to add score per awarded score. Awarded score. And I'm going to do it like this. And these three initial ones, I think they are normal uh, units, so I'm just going to say, I don't know, 10, 10. 10. Now, um, what I could say here is in just one action, I am going to add to the score the value that we have in our enemy, that is seeker, 
dot award award uh, dot awarded score. So each unit is going to know how much it's going to increase the score. So you don't have to do several several actions here. Now the thing is that we were creating the enemies in different locations that in this case if I'm not mistaken we were using this function that is on create creep and we have this is the normal unit this is the first uh, boss and the third boss so what I'm going to do here is to set the, uh, the value for the worded score so I'm just going to say for the first unit 10 for the second one I'm going to say 22 or whatever just to say something the first boss and the third well the second boss really it's going to be I don't know 33 just to, to make it so actually I'm just going to go quite silly and say 11 22 and 33 so with this I should have an increase Oh, did I just add it only one? Okay, no. Uh, I am changing this one that it says destroyed because I was using this text as. Um, so I'm just going to do this to disable. Uh, and I'm going to look again for the destroy. Not only when I destroy uh, one of them one of the enemies I'm going to increase the score I'm also going to update the label that we have here so I'm just going to say score label set score and then the actual value of the score and that's it so let's try that so at some point 10 oh, because these three original ones they I just added manually that they had 10 but now if I add more towers here and I destroy one of these that this that, that one added 22 this one should add also 22 and now you begin to have a score right so that's really cool but what if I want to do what I just said that was about uh, collision with a bullet so I think the normal bullet um, is this one the green one so I also want to add one point just one point whenever I hit one enemy regardless of the enemy that I have and also just to make it work correctly I am going to update the score uh, this update score here, I also could do it in in a, uh, every tick, but usually when you are talking about um, a game that is mobile that could uh, affect performance, so I'm just going to put it. I'm just going to update the label whenever I know that it has changed. So that's it. And now you're going to see that whenever I hit one unit, regardless of which one it is. I am going to to get one point over here so that's that's really cool now uh, when else can can I give some sort of score perhaps when I when I um, create a new tower or something like that but that that's really going to depend on the kind of uh, game that I'm doing the other moment where I could do that is when I destroy all the enemies and if I'm not mistaken I do have um something here that it will blah 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 I'm sorry uh that was going to tell me uh well this one reset all global variables to zero okay so uh this is some actually when I work between levels I think I should uh change this but well whatever um so in this case I uh, that is I'm just going to clear it because I think I'm missing something. 24. Uh, something here. Well, basically, I, sh I could add a bonus, and it could be, for example, with the amount of time that, that I have here. So let's suppose that I say um, 
I am going to add another variable and I'm going to say time bonus and I'm just going to say 100 oh well 200 just to make certain that 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 it, it may happen so what I'm going to do is that every second I'm going to decrease this one so if I'm able to destroy all the enemies in less than 200 uh, seconds then I'm going to receive a bonus. If not, then I'm just going to, well, get whatever score I have. So, I am going to say here, every second, every second, I'm going to decrease from time bonus. And now, if I'm able to go to the next level, I am going to say secret count, okay. Uh, I reset the global variables. Oh, okay. So I'm going to just say this one. I'm going to toggle the variables. Uh, and then I am going to uh, add to the score that is going to be here a time bonus. Uh, that since uh, this could turn into negative I am going to say I want to have the max in between time bonus and zero so if time bonus is already negative I am just going to add zero and that's it and now on the score screen that we had it here I am just going to add something that says Mm, bonus and, and zero I'm going to say by default and this is going to be called bonus bonus label and now here um, I'm going to add another one that this is the event sheet for the score screen that we were having and this is going to be on a start start of layout bonus label set text uh, and well I'm going to even leave it there for a second because I'm that lazy I'm going to actually copy this to say bonus space ampersand that way now if I go here I'm going to go crazy on this to try to destroy them in less than the 200 seconds that I think I should be able to do and I think we have a bonus here so I was able to destroy it in 180 seconds I don't know why this one is not working but well you, you cannot get the idea uh, next level and I don't know score 2 I think I'm restarting something here so I guess that uh, and you can tell that I haven't fixed that for the second level that is the orientation of the uh, animations that we have but well it's it's working okay so you can tell that it, this is quite simple uh, and the entire point of this is just to to be able to get some sort of score quite likely at the end of this series I will have to go back re-clean this project a lot I've been adding in every video like something and, and it would be great to just have like a clean version that I can share with you guys but anyway this one is still uh, a working version and, and I think it's going quite well so now we have bonus next time what I'm going to concentrate on would be quite likely on some sort of system to have uh, coins or price for the different kind of towers and uh, we already have two different kinds of towers but it would be great to perhaps come up with different different powers or something like that right now we have only two one is to uh, shoot the other one is to freeze the enemies so well let's see what else I can come up with uh, in the meantime have a great day